Hey everybody, I thought I would give you a new tour of my ever-changing studio. As a lot of you may know, I moved to the Rocky Mountain Grange in the lower level after our home burned down, and it was kind of a, a wonderful thing to have this space. I've had it since the fall of 2016, and I'm just walking around here to kind of give you a view. Uh, I've given you many studio tours, but they never look like this. Uh, when I first moved here, there was absolutely nothing in here, and it's a pretty large space. You know, there are a lot of thoughts that go through my head as I'm uh, actually packing up to leave this space. I've had it, you know, for several years, but because it's part of the Rocky Mountain Grange in Hamilton, uh, the whole purpose of a grange is to serve the community. And for the longest time, there was really not much activity here, so it was great to use the space while there wasn't much going on. But Things are changing and the Grange is growing and I made the decision that it's time for me to leave my studio and that'll give more space for the community. That's what this Grange Hall was always meant to do. So I'm gonna turn my camera around and give you a tour of what I'm thinking about and what I'm doing to prepare to move. Okay, uh, because I'm running my school, Art and Success, at artandsuccess.com, I have a lot of things going on at any given time. It's not just painting, it's teaching and recording videos and um, post editing videos, all the things that go uh, into running my school. And so that's why it is very challenging to pack everything up because as you can see like right here, for example, my computer and the speakers and, and everything that goes with it, there's an awful lot of technology that I have to be sure that when I move it, it all remains intact. Um, <clears throat> I'm not an electrical wizard at all. So even like this really was intimidating for me to make sure that when I detach everything, everything's color coded and gets, you know, plugged back into the right places. I've got a video camera here up on its tripod, uh, packing up artwork is another big thing and making sure that in the next location I have a good place to store work that's in progress as well as finished and you can see I'm kind of in the middle of packing things up this uh, I have a long way to go and um, yeah so I just thought it would be kind of interesting and you know I, I think the one thing for me that I realize um, that's constant in life is change right you can't really depend on anything but you know that change is coming it always is that's part of life, it's part of getting older, and I've so appreciated um, being able to have had this studio for the length of time I've had it, and um, at the time after the fire, I was really in a very dire straits where I had a show coming and had to really pull things together quickly. I did that, and you know, it's, it's really nice to have a large space, but as you can see, uh, what happens when you have a large space is you tend to fill it up. And I started to realize this, you know, somewhere I was feeling like um, uh, filling it with camera equipment and, you know, all kinds of things as well as the large panels. And that's all really good. But I think it's also uh, what struck me, I think, is this whole idea of less is more. Uh, we talk about that in our art. We talk about that in life. And, you know, my next studio space is going to be a little smaller. I'm going to you know, use some ideas for making it more efficient. I think efficiency is really, really important being an artist. And so I want to make better decisions about, you know, what do I keep and where do I put it and uh, making the most use of every little thing. So for those of you who may not have a really large studio, um, I see so many creative ways that artists can make use of their spaces. Sometimes you have a closet, sometimes you have part of a bedroom or part of a kitchen area. And you know, the most important thing that I think, uh, regardless of how big your space is, is to have some little area where you can perhaps leave a little mess behind and not always feel like you have to tidy up, clean up, you know, pull everything, uh, put it all back into a cabinet. Uh, if you can leave it out in some way, your own personal creative space, I think that's really, really valuable. It doesn't matter how big your space is, but keeping things in, you know, perhaps some bins with lids on them so that you can easily make the most out of 10 minutes is a great idea. That's always very nice. And uh, here's a view of my storage area. 
this is a, a part of the studio that was uh, really, really nice to have. You know, I've got my panels. Um, you can see behind me that those are all the unused panels. And then I've got um, other work behind me that is, a lot of it is uh, finished and I'm getting ready for a show in November of this year, uh, delayed twice due to COVID. And so, you know, part of the thing about going to the new space is I need a very good space to store the work that's temperature controlled and dry, you know, low humidity, that kind of thing. It's very important for work, especially in caustic, which is very, um, it can be impacted by really cold temperatures as well as really hot temperatures. So if you're not an encaustic artist, that's not as critical. And I've even heard that oil paintings actually benefit from cold or they aren't really impacted by cold so much. Uh, so again, I'm just wanted to let you know that I am packing up my studio, uh, trying to be strategic, trying to get rid of things that I really feel I don't need. And I'm excited to show you my brand new space, which I'm actually sitting in right now. It's always a work in progress. And like I mentioned, my space is just a little bit smaller. It's actually not that much smaller. So that's been nice. But like anything, uh, moving is a huge ordeal. Uh, it took me a whole month to leave the Grange and get into my new space. Some things had to be put into place. And I'm excited to show you some space saving tricks that maybe would be helpful to you. And I wanted to get as many things off my floor. I wanted to have electrical cords that I didn't trip over. Uh, so there were a lot of things, a lot of thought went into the new location, which happens to be um, at home. It's in an external garage. We had to kind of renovate that and take everything out and put it into um, a different place so that I could take over the garage. I'm really good at taking over spaces as my family knows. So if you enjoy my channel and would like to hear more about the trials and tribulations of moving a studio from one place to another, please like my video and like the channel. I'd love to hear your comments below and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of my YouTube subscribers and uh, just a little note, please hit that little notification bell because that ensures that if I post a new video and I will have kind of several videos in the series showing you as I transition from the Grange to my home studio, uh, if you don't want to miss any of those videos, be sure to hit the notification bell and I will be in touch soon. I hope you'll visit my website, Art and Success, because that has not moved. It's always there. It's my online school. I, I so love all the artists that I work with. I'd love for you to just take a look at my site because there might be something there that's of interest to you. Okay, so bye for now and thanks for tuning in.